In this video, I'm going to show you how to make registration marks for each layer of your SVG file so that if you're cutting it in vinyl, it's a little bit easier to get them aligned where they're supposed to be if you're not good at eyeballing it. So you're going to need an SVG file that has layers of color. And the first thing you're going to want to do when you bring it in is go to your selection arrow, select it, and ungroup it. And I like to ungroup it a couple of times until down here at the bottom it says no groups. So I make sure that they're all ungrouped. And then what I do is if I have white in my SVG, I will draw a box, just a square over here, um, so that I can see the white. Now, I'm going to grab a shape, whether it's a square, a circle, a star, doesn't matter, but I'm going to use a square. And I'm going to hold my control key down to get a perfectly symmetrical square. And then I'm going to go down here to this X, hold my shift key, and click on the X just to make sure there's no stroke around that square. Then I'm going to go to my selection tool and count the colors in my SVG file. I have three, blue, yellow, and white. So I need three squares. I have one. I'm going to hold control down and hit the letter D two more times. One, two. Now I have three squares, three layers. Deselect everything with this button here. Select a square, raise it to the top, and choose a color to make that square. I am going to choose blue, and then I'm going to hold shift, and I'm going to click on the blue, and I'm going to go to path, combine. And then I'm going to lower that to the bottom. I'm going to deselect, select a square, raise it to the top, give it a color that is in my SVG file, hold shift key, select that color in my SVG file, and go to path combine. Then I'm going to lower that to the bottom. And then that leaves me with my third color. I'm going to deselect, select the square. It's already white. Hold the shift key, select the white in my SVG file, go to path, combine, and lower that to the bottom, and deselect everything. Now I can grab my square, move that out of the way, and delete it. Uh, left click and draw a box around everything and group it. But before I do that, I just want to show you that here's my blue, my blue square, a yellow, my yellow square, my white, which is here. <laughs> um, I just can't grab it because I deleted my stupid square. Anyway, um, it's here. So now when I go to line these up, I'm gonna get those corners right, get them perfect as I can, and then lay the vinyl down and they will go right into place, okay? So let me get this back to where it should be. Uh, select it all, then group it, go to file, save as, give it a destination, a name, and save it as a plain SVG, okay? And it's that simple. So I hope you try this process. If you're not good at layering vinyl, by just sight, then this may help you. So I hope you'll join me on my next video.